I'm Renee with the Post Center for Health Education. I'm here at Raleigh City Farm to explain to you all the great benefits of urban farming and perhaps inspire you to find your own roots within the city. Hi, I'm Lisa Grayley Berry, Executive Director of Raleigh City Farm. Well, hi Lisa. I am wondering if you can tell me how did Raleigh City Farm come about? We have the story, our origin story, on our website. So you can read about the story of Laurel and Laura, who were two of our co-founders. They were on an environmental leadership conference back in 2009. They were driving home, thinking and dreaming about what they could do to make change happen, positive change in the environment. And they began talking about a farm and scribbling down notes on a notebook. And the one thing that came up repeatedly was a place where anyone can learn about farming. And that was the idea, the light bulb that started Raleigh City Farm back in 2009, 10. In 2011, the nonprofit was formed after they brought a team together and the rest is history. So how are you working with the community now, today, this year? The mission really has two key verbs, right? Connect and nourish. But let's start with nourish. Really the anchor of our strategic plan is to be part of the solution to solve the crisis of food insecurity and access. Last year we grew almost, well, we grew 13,000 437 pounds of food, and 95% of that was made more affordable and accessible through two key programs, our Pay What You Can Farm Stand, where folks can come and purchase food at a reduced rate, or our Farm Share Program, where we donate produce to nonprofits addressing food insecurity and access. The connection part, which I think in some ways is just as important, is how we bring the community together to both make friends, with themselves, with the plants. And we do that in a number of different ways. We have work days where teams come together and can dig in. We offer workshops, we offer tours, we offer, uh, we have a lovely outreach program called Farm to Camp at the Salvation Army. We have yoga classes, and I know a really great instructor if you wanna come and check out our yoga class. Ultimately, we are a green space in the middle of an urban area that offers a chance for families, people to come and look at food growing in the ground instead of on the shelf of a, of a grocery store. So now tell me, why is having urban farms important? When we think about farms, typically we think about the country. We think about farms that we don't see. And urban farms can be a billboard for farming. 50% of the world population are living in cities. Growing food in cities is paramount as we think about more ways to grow food. So having green space devoted to growing food is hugely important. Trees provide shade. Uh, green spaces provide a place for folks to observe nature and we know how important that is. So how we can create green spaces that not only help the climate heal, but connect people and help their well-being is, is, is vitally important. I'm here with Maria, the farm manager at Raleigh City Farm, and I have a few more questions to dig down into the nitty gritty of farming here. Yeah. So first of all, what are some of the soil and water considerations farming in the city? I mean, with any type of farming that you're doing, you really want to make sure to really understand where your resources are coming from, right? And specifically in the city, like contamination of your soil and of water can be uh, something to really think about. You know, we are on a city water supply, but we also have rainwater as well. Um, so having, you know, like redundancies um, in our system is really important to us. We could carry about 10,000 gallons of water on site, you know, have a backup because plants, if plants need anything, it's water. So um, soil consideration would be just to ensure that you're making, um, that you're getting your soil tested. We do get our compost from Compost Now, um, which is really good soil. And having really good soil or access to really good soil um, is really important in the work that we do. So I also see there's a variety of growing strategies here, some rows, some raised beds, some hanging plants, bags. So what is the purpose of all these different strategies? Yeah. 
you know, for me, again, it, it goes back to building resiliency, you know, and I think um, traditionally why growing in the ground is um, the way that it has been done, it's because there's a lot of nutrients in the ground, right? So if you're growing in good soil, that means there's gonna be less that you're gonna have to add to that soil to get the outcome that you want, right? And especially in North Carolina, we have this beautiful clay. It might be tough to work with, but it's chock full of nutrients and it really does us good out here as farmers, you know? Uh, but we also want to show people here that, you know, not everyone has access to growing and grounding and ground. A lot of people live in apartments. Some people don't even, maybe don't even have an outdoor space. They just have a window. And that's something that for me, it's really important to make sure people understand that whatever situation you live in, you can always create a relationship with plants and start working with them, whether it's like indoor gardening with just house plants. If you're growing herbs on a windowsill, that's like, you know, the famous example. It's like, you got a window, like just throw an herb box up there. You know, and this is all really important because, you know, if you're wanting to have a year round harvest, having grow spaces to grow in is really helpful for them. What is one thing that has really surprised you about farming in the city, being here at Raleigh City Farm? I mean, I have to choose one. I feel like there are so many things, you know, um, I'll, I'll name two things. It's uh, one, you know, we are growing on less than an acre here and the amount of produce that we can grow on this site is like extraordinary. I'm surprised every year. And uh, yeah, I think the other thing would just be like how, excited people get about being here like I don't know why that's like such a pleasant and wonderful surprise like to see how many people are attracted to the farm like what kind of backgrounds um, they come from I'm also specifically referring to my interns like I get interns from all walks of life I'm here with Colleen Yeager, Assistant Farm Manager at Raleigh City Farm. So I would like to know how you control pests, bugs, as well as rabbits, any pests, what do you do? Um, here at Raleigh City Farm, we practice holistic management techniques. All around the farm, we have a perennial buffer that allows for nature to survive. And we invite all bugs, good bugs and bad bugs, because the good bugs will then take care of the bad bugs. Um, and we don't need to do anything else on our own because if we let nature take its course, it eventually evens out. When we are dealing with rabbits, really the main place we have that problem is in our food forest. And we actually use our food forest as a space to invite nature in. And we plant things there and as a sacrificial, you know, offering to those animals. The other pests usually you're gonna see in a city um, garden is squirrels and rats. And with those two, you really just need to make sure that your area is clean, that there's no air place for them to nest, no debris sitting around. You keep that under control, then you shouldn't have such a problem with them. Why should people consider starting a garden plot in the city or a farm plot if they have the space for that? Um, to me, I feel like gardening is just good for your soul and your body. The food you eat, of course, is going to nourish you, but just going through the process of gardening is therapeutic. Getting your hands in the dirt, you know, smelling that soil, watching a seed grow from beginning to all the way to a plant is an amazing experience and very rewarding. So Colleen, do you have a favorite recipe that you have perfected from harvest from Raleigh City Farm? Um, so I have a recipe that uh, my family has made for generations and it's actually one you don't have to be perfect at because it is called crud. And you literally use all the crud left over from your garden that you don't know what to do with. You get your tomatoes, your peppers, your cucumbers, your onions, and you chop them up, all your fresh herbs that you have, some salt and pepper, and you just eat it with tortilla chips or some pita. And I guarantee you, this is gonna be gone within a day or two. And it's the easiest, best recipe to enjoy on a hot summer day. Thanks so much for tuning in to learn more about city farming. If you have your own stories to share about Raleigh City Farm or farming in the city, please share your story with us below. And don't forget to follow all of our social media, which you can find listed underneath this video. And don't forget to stay po-fit.